Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today we have a new beta for iOS 14, and that would be iOS 14 Developer Beta 8. Now, this video is going to be on the shorter side of things just because of the nature of this update, but just to let you all know, we did see other updates for iPadOS, watchOS, and tvOS. Now, very quickly, let's just dive into Beta 8 and go over what you should expect in the next few weeks from iOS 14. Okay, so beta eight to me seems like a GM build of iOS 14. If you take a look at the build number, we have a new one of 18A537A. Now that A at the end does indicate that this is likely a GM build and that iOS 14 as an official release is coming very, very soon. Given we are just a week out from Apple's September event on the 15th, I'd say it's a pretty safe bet that this is the last beta you will see of the initial iOS 14 release. Now, what's also possible is that just like last year, you see iOS 14.1 betas coming even before the official release. Last year, we saw iOS 13.1 betas coming even before its official release because Apple was just that far along in development and wanted to push things forward. But the point here is that this is likely the GM version of iOS 14. And given that we have an event from Apple next week, it's very likely that we'll see an official release maybe next Friday or the week after. Now, I'm not going to speak any further on next week's event, but you will definitely want to tune in. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Now, as far as speed and performance goes, I'm extremely satisfied with iOS 14 so far. And as I said in my last update video, the speed and performance felt like a GM version to me, and that has carried over here into beta eight. One thing that I was sort of unsure about was battery life, and I'd say that I'm still on the edge with that one. I didn't notice any real improvements to battery life to match the performance that we saw in iOS 13, so we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out with an official release and subsequent releases thereafter to see if that improves. But all in all, if I were an end user, I would actually start prepping my device to go from iOS 13 to iOS 14 because this is just a solid update with a lot of new features and a lot more performance than what we saw in iOS 13. So guys, I told you I would keep this video short simply because there isn't much to go over here, but I did just want to share with you what was going on and to let you know that this is likely the kind of like the last beta update we'll be giving at least until iOS 14 beta one. Okay, so that was it for today's video. And just in case you didn't hear before, there was also release of iPadOS, tvOS, and watchOS betas. So if you were on any of those, you should definitely see an update for those platforms very soon, public release either today or tomorrow. So anyways, guys, thank you all for watching today's video. And if you want to see more content in the near future, definitely get subscribed, hit that like button, and also hit that notification bell button to get notifications when any new content is released. You can also check me out on Twitter at Jeff Updated, and we have a Discord server you can check out as well via the links down below. Also, one more thing to check out is the new updated podcast where I go more in depth into some tech topics that we don't discuss here on the channel. First episode will be live this Friday, September 11th, and links for that are also in the video description down below. But anyways, guys, I hope to see you on some future content, some future videos, or some social media platforms sometime soon. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.